you're building a contact form, and the default contact form will only able uh, to capture the information like, for example, name, emails, contact numbers, subject topic, and also message body. What if you actually would like to receive documents uh, uploading by your customers? How do you do that, right? Hey guys, this is Samuel from DMC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually add in a custom field to allow your customer to submit and upload documents, for example, like PDF, you know, like um, document Microsoft Docs or Microsoft Excel to upload the documents to you via a contact form. Now, this is the um, default contact form, right? The default contact form, you will only have like name, email, subject, message, and um, they won't have any upload file, okay? And over right here. And sometimes uh, your normal contact us page, you won't have a Google Maps right there as well. So if you're looking at, uh, you know, how can you actually embed a Google Maps, you can actually uh, check out my other video as well, yeah? So the over right here, if you can see, um, how do we actually have the upload forms, right? So just give you an example, the other form will look something like this, okay? So the users will be actually able to uh, come here to upload the file and choose the file, okay? And they will be able to choose the, you know, the files to actually upload, um, you know, to, 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 to your websites and to you, right? So that um, the upload files, you can actually receive as a PDF, as document, as Excel, or images and as well, yeah? So how do you actually, um, you know, add these, uh, uh, you know, the upload features over right here at your contact form here. So uh, very easy, this is what you can do. Um, you can just come to um, the dashboard and go under your contact form, okay? Go under your contact form. Yep, the area that you edit your um, forms, right? Depending on which contact form that you are using, yeah? So the one that I'm showing over right here is actually contact form 7, okay? Contact form 7 plugin, yeah? So if you're using a different contact form, um, it might be a little bit different, yeah? But the concept could, could be the same, so, okay? So this is actually using a contact form 7, okay? So over right here, uh, the one that I'm going to edit is my contact us page, the one that without the uh, upload files, yeah? So this is the one that contact us. And when I click in, you'll be able to see, uh, you know, the default is actually the name, the email, the subject, and message, which is like this, yeah? Name, email, subject, message. And I would like to add um, the upload file, the upload file right below my uh, message, yeah? So right below my message, how do I do that? Um, the easiest way is for you to actually duplicate the whole thing, okay? Duplicate the whole thing from, um, you know, the, the, the field earlier, and you just duplicate one thing, uh, one, one line below. Okay, so right after you duplicate one line below, then you can customize the message. For example, instead of um, I call it as your message, I would like to put it as upload your file. So this one, I will just uh, change the title to upload your file. Okay, and then the fill over right here, instead of the text area as the message, this one, I will going to change it to the, you know, the upload document. So how do I do that? If you can see all here, all the tabs over right here, right? You can just, uh, this is the fill for you to actually select. So if you want to actually receive as a text, um, you know, text will look something like this. If you would like to receive something like an email, then uh, email basically, it will still look like this, but it will actually help you to filter. So when a user is typing it in invalid emails, it will actually prompt, yeah? Um, prompt the user by saying that, ah, it's, it's not a valid email, okay? And also we have like subject, I mean, URL, telephone numbers, but the one that we are looking at over right here, it will be the file, okay? The uploaded file. So if you just click under here and um, you can select whether or not this is a required field or it's an optional field, okay? So if you untick, it's an optional field, um, user can choose to upload or not to upload, okay? But if you make it a required field, um, they have to upload something before they can actually hit on a submit button on your file, okay? So for the name, um, doesn't matter. You can just give it a name, okay? So I like to name it as a, a easier name for me. I will just put it as a file, okay? So so then what you need to do is that if you can see all the tag over right here, right after you rename, right, you need to ensure that you click 
on any empty space outside okay so to generate this type okay so once i click right observe these things here yeah? once i click you can see that this this name it will be changed to whatever name that i type okay so let's say i put upload file yeah so then when i click it will change to upload file okay so this is the final code that you're going to copy this is the final code that you're going to copy and you're coming to come here and replace this section okay and replace on this section okay so make sure that you replace on this section and click on save changes okay click on save changes and right now i go to my website and i refresh and you'll be able to see from here there will be these uploads already okay but editing this part is only part one right after you edit this section allows you to display the upload file outside yeah display these features outside of uh, of your website but whenever the users is actually submitting the file and uploading the file attaching the file that file you need to make sure that you will be able to receive so the second part of editing you need to make sure that you go under the mail tab okay so these mail tabs over right here you need to ensure one thing right here yeah so if you can see from here there's this section called upload file okay you can see this section called upload file this one the color that is actually showing over right here is right one of it this is the in, in gray gray color it means that light gray light gray color it means that everything is all good if you see something that is black color darker color it means that it's a no no <laughs> it's something that is missing okay the file is missing so even though the user they are able to upload the file but yet you won't be able to receive okay even though the user able to upload but you won't be able to receive so you need to make sure that this color it will be changed to gray so how do you do that okay so you need to make sure that this file name you need to copy and paste and you need to ensure that you add it to the message body okay so when the moment that there's an incoming inquiry from your contact form you will be able to receive and that file you will be able to show over right here okay you'll be able to show over right here and this is all your message body and i'm going to put it at here the file attachment okay the file attachment this will be the upload file that the user uploaded to your contact form okay then you will be able to over right here and attach the file together when when you are actually um, you know you are actually uh, doing the email from that yeah when you are receiving the emails okay so make sure that you save changes and right after i save yeah, i want you to observe these these changes yeah so right after i save you'll be able to see that hey you know this black color change it to light gray so as long as you see all here everything is in light gray then everything is all good okay everything is all good and you can just go ahead and go and test it out on your contact form and let me know at a comment below whether or not it works for you okay so that's all thank you for watching if you like our video remember to leave your comment below how is like and share if you are yet to subscribe to our youtube channel remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video see you in the next video Thank you.